Uh, Catherine Oliver and I have, have founded this movement called Transforming Evidence and the idea is to find a space where we can think about the challenges of promoting the use of research. So that's about connecting communities, sharing resources and also doing more research to understand how we better promote the use of research in policy and practice. So it's an ambitious agenda and the key to it really is to bring people together and share their learning because this is a space with some really big challenges where we don't have enough opportunities to learn from each other. Yeah, so the, the real joy of implementation science is that it brings a load of frameworks and strategies that can help us sort of order our thinking around implementation. A lot of the elements of it are things we know already. You know, we know from how we get people to change their behaviour, how we build new systems. What's different about implementation science is it presents a load of kind of models and frameworks that will take us through those things more rigorously and help us really identify the factors that are going to help us bring about change. So I guess it's those, those frameworks and strategies that I particularly point to that have been really helpful for us in, in taking a more rigorous look at, at what we've got in terms of a challenge. So there are many different bodies of knowledge that help us understand the use of research in policy and knowledge mobilisation is really powerful because it does really help us understand how stakeholders are so critical to change, how we need to engage them early in the process and work with them throughout if we're really going to be successful. So that's a great thing about the knowledge mobilisation framing, that it helps us not just think about the sort of formal evidence and data that we use in change processes, but also the lived experience of services that is so critical um, if we're going to do things that matter and change things for communities. Underpinning that, I think, is this important issue of values. So what we really think is important and what we value and what we believe in shapes what we're prepared to do in terms of change. And often in our thinking about um, sort of doing things differently, we don't really consider that. We focus on the very kind of rational things, you know, kind of developing a strategy or kind of promoting change and we don't think well actually how does this connect with the underlying beliefs people have about this policy area. If we do bring those things to the fore we have really interesting and engaging conversations and they help us move forward a bit faster. Yeah, so it was a great question about what the ingredients to, to make a successful implementation strategy might look like and and I thought the things that the other panellists identified were great. You know, I really agree with them that political leadership is so important, that working with communities is so critical. And so, so I would share, and also the importance of data, I mean, absolutely really important to implementation. I guess what I wanted to flag up was the importance of bringing a bit of creativity to these processes, particularly when we work with multiple stakeholders. I think often from a policy perspective we're very drawn to lots of kind of documentation and meetings and doing things in a kind of very formal way, so working how we work traditionally and asking everyone else to come and join us at the table. But actually we can be creative about how we work together and we can also bring kind of a, a bit of kind of more life to the process and make sure that it works for everybody and it takes us all out of our comfort zone so that we can come up with really creative solutions by working in more creative ways. So one of the things I thought, there's a couple of things about today that have been so interesting. The first is the importance of networks. So actually networks like these that bring people together so they can learn from each other, so they can share their experiential knowledge and that they can have that opportunity to kind of test out and iterate their ideas together and for that to be an ongoing relationship around implementation is so important. And we don't have many spaces like that so this is a really novel and interesting initiative. The other issue, I guess, is the opportunity to learn across the island of Ireland. You know, so two very different jurisdictions in very different places around this issue. So that idea of a kind of challenge that comes from a shared goal, but being very different places in the journey and having different experiences to bring together, I thought was really powerful. And we don't, again, have many of those opportunities to learn across borders. So I thought that was really fantastic and I'll definitely take that away with me.